All right, in this video, we're going to do intro 21. Um, it's a print that shows a milling contour, a couple mill circles, and some drilled holes. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my new program. So I'll go to Program Manager, New Conversational. I already have some tools set up. We've got an eighth inch drill, half inch, eighth inch center drill, half inch drill, and a five eighths end mill. Those are already set up in my tool list, so I won't worry about that. And I'm going to skip the stock geometry on this one because I want to let the control automatically create some stock a little bit bigger than what I'm doing. Um, just to kind of show how that works. I could figure it out obviously by doing some math here. It just doesn't give it to us. so I'm going to just leave it off for this particular video so you can see how that works. The control will create solid stock bigger than whatever features you're trying to program. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work our way around that the profile of this part. So I'm going to go to input, part programming. It's going to be milling, lines and arcs. So as we've done in all of our other contours, we need to determine where are we going to start and what direction are we going to go. I think I'm going to start all the way over at the three o'clock position on that far right radius, the very far end of the part on the right side. And if I'm going to climb mill around the outside, I want to go clockwise. So I'll start there on that point, and then I'll go down and to the left and around that way. All right, so the first thing it wants to know is our X and Y start. Well, we have the center of that middle hole is our zero point on this particular print. So I'm going to go from there, four inches over to the center of the radius, plus the three-quarter inch radius. That puts us at 4.75. The Y is going to be a positive... 0.5625. Again, the center of that middle hole is our zero point. We're up above that by 0.5625. So there's our starting point. We'll go to point 0.1 for our Z start. And this part's 386 thick, so I'll go down minus 0.4. I'm going to use my 5 8 end mill. That's tool number three in my tool list. And I'm going to do cutter comp left. sure what happened there. Cutter comp left. I'm going to allow the blending moves and speeds and feeds would have come in with the tool had I set those up. All right, so we're ready for our next segment. It's going to be an arc. I said we're going to be going clockwise this time. We're on the outside going around the part climb mill. The end point of that arc, just like all the other arcs we've ran into in this in these, this series, we've run it into an angled line, so we don't know the X and Y endpoint. So we skip those. We do know the center. It's at four inches and 5, 0.5625. We know the radius, although it filled that in for us. And if we knew the sweep angle, we'd put that in there. We do not know that, so we're going to go to the next segment. The next segment is a line. That line moves down and blends with a radius. So again, I don't know the end point of that line. I don't know the length of that line or the angle. We don't know any of that, again, so we leave it blank. We're going to skip to the next segment. It's going to be an arc. It's going to be a clockwise arc to an unknown end point. Again, we're going to sweep over to a, an angled line. We know the center, 0, 0. And we know the radius. It is a 1.75. Now, we look over here on the right side. We see that we've began to back figure some of the information that we've skipped previously. So we know we're on the right path. We're now to the next segment, which is another line. A line we know nothing about. So we'll leave that all blank. We go to the next segment, which will be another arc. This is the arc on the far left side of the part. It's clockwise. We know the center. It is going to be a minus 3 and a minus 1.25. The radius, 0.75. Okay, we've seen some more information fill in here. Next segment is a line we know nothing about. Next segment is another clockwise arc. 
unknown endpoints. We do know the arc center and the radius. This time it is going to be a 1.13. It's there on the top of the top of the part. Next segment, a line we know nothing about. And we're going to finish this with our final clockwise arc to a known point, 4.75. It's the same point we started with, 0.5625. The center will be 4.5625, 3 quarter. So now I should be able to draw this and see our profile. There we have it. So you can see that the control automatically created a little piece of stock geometry bigger than what we're doing. It also adds to the Z. So I could continue to go deeper and deeper and deeper and will never break through if we don't give it an actual stock size. So that's just something that the control will do for you if you don't want to take the time to create a piece of stock geometry. But that looks like the print, so we know we're on the right path. So we're going to go back to our program here, highlight block, go to our next block, and I'm going to drill three holes with a half inch drill in all three of those locations. So we're going to select holes, we're going to do drill, center drill, 0.1 minus 0.125, I'll use tool one. Next hole operation will be a drill, using a drill, let's go down point. 425, make sure we get through the part using tool 2. And the next whole operation will be our locations. We're going to give it some X and Y locations. So we're going to do one at 4 and 0.5625. We'll drill that half inch hole on the far right first. We'll drill the center hole next, which will be at 0, 0. And our final hole will be minus 3 minus 1.25. If we draw that, we'll have our profile and three holes in the right location, all of them a half inch. The only half inch that's on the print is the far right, so I need to circle mill the other two. So I'll go to next block number, next block, milling, circle. I'll do one at zero, zero. That hole is 0.745 through 0.745 divided by 2. 0.1 minus 0.4 using our 5 8 end mill. We're going to use a half inch end mill. I know that says 5 8 but I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a half inch just gives me a little bit more clearance. So we'll go find a half inch end mill. That'll do. We'll make that a pocket boundary. So that's one. Now we're going to go to our next block. Milling circle. This time we'll be at minus 3 and minus 1.25, minus 0.4, using, let's use that same tool. I'm going to click on this tool review button here. You can also hit input tool review on the control panel and that will give me a list of all the tools that I've used so far and we see that we are going to use tool 92. That's the half inch end mill that I had chosen before. So we're going to use tool 92. So I'll hit exit. That'll take me back into my block. Type in tool 92. Pocket boundary. And now if I hit draw, oh, I forgot to put the size in. So you see there when I drew this, it told me that there's an illegal radius of zero it's in block four and it asks, do I want to jump to the block? If I hit yes, then it'll take me to the block where that error has occurred. It told me that the radius was zero, so I have to put a radius in there. So 0.755 divided by two, 
Now I can go in and I can draw this. I'll get my profile, my three holes, and uh, the circle mill to complete that. I could have also have copied and pasted that first circle, changed the location and the diameter or the radius, and that would have worked as well. I just chose to redo it again, and mill circle is a very easy block to do. So that's intro 21. Hopefully you were able to follow along.